Hello everyone. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make Chris Alexander's Nebu Starfighter. Um, this is right from his book, The uh, Star Wars Origami. This is Chris Alexander. Uh, if you've had trouble with this book, you are not alone. Some of the uh, instructions are a little difficult to follow, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this. So let's get started. This will be the slow tutorial. So I will take my time, uh, which is probably a good thing. It makes it easy to follow along. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a square sheet of paper. And then we're going to fold it caddy corner. Just like so. Then once we're done that, we're going to open this up. And then we're going to fold it caddy corner the other way. This is going to give us that plus shape or a cross. If we open this up, we should have creases going from corner to corner. What we're going to do is we're going to flip this over, and then we're going to fold the flat side with the other flat side. So we're going to fold this in half. We'll line up the edges, and I'm going to crease this down. And we're going to be careful to uh, be accurate in our creases because that's really going to help this model. This one isn't very forgiving with uh, poor creasing. Alright, so we're going to open this up and then we're going to fold it the other way. Crease that down. And if we open this up, this should give us the cross pattern here. These are our mountain folds and our valley folds should go from flat side to flat side. What we're going to do is we're going to squash fold this paper all the way down. Line up our corners. Give it a good crease. These creases should already be here um, but I'm just going to go ahead and crease them down anyway. Just going to flatten that. Now what we're going to do with the open side Open sides down. We're going to pick up one of these flaps and we're going to fold this edge along this center crease. Okay. I'm going to make sure my tip down here is good. And then I'm going to place the top. I'm going to hold that down and crease it along. I'm going to do the same thing with this flap. So I'm going to lift up this upper flap. Make sure our point's good, and we will crease that down. Now I'm going to use the back side of my fingernail and just kind of crease that down a little bit because we want to make sure we got good creases. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip this over. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to lift this flap up. I'm going to make sure our corners down, our point down here is good. We're along the crease. Along that center crease, give that a good crease, and we'll do the same to this side. And I'll use that fingernail to give that a good crease. Because our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do reverse creases. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open this up. We're going to lift up this paper all the way. We're going to fold these guys back down like so. But right here where we got the mountain folds, we're going to turn these into valley folds. So we're going to reverse fold this all the way up. Right here, just like that. Just like so. Then we're going to fold this down. I'm actually going to give it a little crease up top and then fold that down because we're going to use that line as a reference. So we're going to flip this over. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to open this up. We're going to lift this up. We're going to fold these, this lower part down. Sometimes you have to train the paper. Like so. And we're going to fold up the sides. Just reverse fold that. Crease that up there. And then fold it back. Okay? 
So at this point, we should have this kind of diamond shape here. Open end at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it. And we're going to take this edge here, and we're going to fold it along this crease here. You see, remember this crease line I said we're going to use? We're going to use it now. So we're going to fold this. So I'm going to put a fingernail here, just to kind of help guide the paper. Right along the edge. Crease that down, and again, I'm going to use my fingernail to get a good crease. Then we're going to unfold that, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right, so this, we're going to line that up. Crease that down. And then we're going to open that up. This should give us this kind of odd cross pattern here, where the center folds down. What we're going to do is we're going to fold the center down right at this cross point and then we're going to make sure the crease lines up right in the center. So this crease here should line up with the crease going down here. Then we're going to open this up and fold that down. Okay, we're going to give that a good crease. We're going to need good creases here so go ahead and take your time and get a good crease. Then we will lift this up and then we're going to take this tip here and we're going to fold it right here where all these creases meet. So we're going to fold this down like so and then crease this down. And again we want a good crease here. Then we're going to open this up. Okay this next part, this part can be kind of tricky. so. I'm going to go slow. We're going to open this whole thing up, just like so. Okay. And you see all these little creases here? What we're going to do is we're going to find this outer box we created. And you'll see it's all the way around. It's this larger box. Not the one out here where our flops fold, but it's the inner one. So you can find this crease goes all the way up. And the first crease that meets, that's the box we're going to fold. But we're going to make sure they're all mountain folds. So we're going to fold them like so. Only to that crease though. Follow me? Okay, then we're going to do all four sides. Crease that down. Get that guy there. And it gets easier once you get going along. Um, I know this part, if you haven't done this before, this part can be a little bit tricky. So pause the video if you need, just to follow along. Okay, so right now I have it all creased. If you're not caught up, go ahead and pause this. If you are caught up, what we're gonna do is we're going to this inner box. You see this center box here? So we've got our outer box out here our inner box in here, that's going to go down, but this center point is actually going to pop up. So sometimes you can get away with just pushing it together. Just kind of push it right here at the sides and it'll come up. See that? That one came up. Sometimes you got to poke it up with your finger. So we want to make sure it's following all those little creases and then we will crease that down. Just like that. This is what it looks like inside. We could even crease it around if we wanted to do a good fold. In here, if this folds a little funky in there, it doesn't matter because none of that's going to show. It's not real important to the, uh, the this model. The important part is we have it flat up here. Okay, the next step. So it doesn't matter which side you go on, whichever side you start with, the top, the sides over here are going to be the wings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and you'll see this already has this crease here. We're going to go ahead and fold that down. We're going to fold it on all four. Should be pretty easy to fold because that crease is already there. We're going to flip the model over, and we're going to do it again on these sides. We'll just crease that down real good. 
All right, so if we're here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up this flap and we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna go towards the center crease, but we're gonna kind of line up these, see these lines here? They don't always line up, but we're gonna kind of get really close. So we're gonna fold that about halfway. And this, it's gonna come out about this far. Not too important, we just wanna make sure that we know where this goes because we're gonna match it on the other side. This first one's the one that sets up for all four wings. All right, so once we have that, let's go ahead and do the other side. The other side, we're gonna match it so the points should kinda come together. But most importantly, where this fold ends, got to end over here. So if this has to go a little off in either way, that's okay. Most important thing is this ends in the same spot. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to fold it there. And I'm going to look. Is that about the same? Yeah, I think it is. So I'm going to crease that down. And it does kind of line up up here. As they should, but like I said, sometimes they're not. They're a little off. That's okay if that's the case. Make sure these are at the same point. Now we're gonna flip the model over. And we're gonna do the same thing, except this time, we're just gonna line it up to the back end here. So we're gonna go, still take that point to the center-ish, line it up down here. As long as that's aligned, go ahead and crease that. We're going to give this a good crease because we're going to do another reverse fold there. Or sink fold as they're called. Line this one up. It's lined up on the bottom. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're going to go all the way down. Going to give that a good crease. Okay. So this is where we are, both sides. You see this side lines up a little bit better. This side's just a touch off, not a problem, as long as these meet up at the same point. Okay, we're going to open this up, all four sides, and this is the tricky part again. We're going to lift this upper flap up. We're going to start on one side, we're going to open this. Now here, see this little diamond that we made? We're going to push this in. Got to do a sink fold here. And we're just going to follow those lines. I like to try to crease that. Just follow the lines, follow the previous crease. That one should be the same. This one here we're going to reverse fold. That's the one that goes in. And the bottom part, I'm just going to kind of leave up. Train it, make sure it goes all the way. And then that should fold nicely. All right, you can pause the video and do this again. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna open this up, push this guy in, find that crease. We're gonna fold it down just to this triangle. Take this bottom end, fold that up, find that crease, make sure it's happy. One good happy creases. Then you kind of push up the center, and that should line up, okay? Now we get to do the same thing on this side, just to make sure you get enough practice at this. So we're going to go ahead and open up this upper flap, open up one side, push this through, find our crease. I like to start with the top crease. I think it helps because this is the more difficult one. Then we're going to do the bottom crease. Just like so. We'll fold that down. And then finally, we'll do this side. You guys should be getting the hang of this by now. These folds here, these sink folds, these can be kind of frustrating. So. Don't feel bad if this is if you're finding this to be a difficult fold. Just pause the video, take your time. See, sometimes they won't follow right, so you got to help them along inside there. 
And there we go. Got them all lined up. So at this point, if you haven't caught up, go ahead and pause the video and catch up. Otherwise, here we go. Now what we're going to do is these sides here, we see where we have the little paper folded in? These are going to be the sides. The top part should have nothing. The bottom part should have nothing. The sides should both have that little flap. All right, so we're going to pick one side. We're going to lift this up. We're going to go all the way up. And then we're going to reverse fold down here. I'm going to go ahead and start at the point, work my way down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of close this again. Make sure our paper's folding properly down here. Okay, top. And then we're going to make this line here meet up with this corner here. So we're going to hold this, meet that right there. And then we're going to squish this down. That'll crease the paper underneath. So just to look underneath, this is what it looks like. Now we're going to do the same thing with this side. So we're going to lift this, give this a little reverse fold. Fold this down, pinch that. We'll make sure it's folding right. See, some of this paper doesn't always like to behave. We're going to line up that corner. Once we like how that ear is, we'll squeeze it down. And now we have what looks like a bowl. Right? I think it does. Yeah, maybe I'll make something out of that one day. All right, for now. Now what we're going to do so we're going to lift this in here. We're going to put our thumb in here. We're going to push down here. Don't squeeze it yet. We're going to squeeze right here. And then we're going to pull this until this lines up. Once we get a good line there, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once we're close though, we're going to go ahead and crease that down. We're going to do the same thing to this side. So we're going to open this up here. Fold this down. Now, this should be folding, reverse fold on this crease line here. So we're going to reverse fold there. And now we're going to kind of match it up. We want about the same. Once we have that, squeeze that down. Now, we kind of still have a bowl, don't we? Yeah, if we put the horns forward. Okay, anyways, back to our model. So now what we're going to do is, what we need to do is we could either fold this up and line this up. So what we want is we want this edge here parallel to this. So we're going to um, lift our finger in here. We're going to split this open. See? Use our thumb to push this back up. We'll squeeze the top and we're going to hold on right here. Because we're going to start to pull this, shape this, until we want it up here. We want this top all the way up at the top. And we want this parallel. Once we think we have that, we're going to go ahead and squeeze that down. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to open this, push this up. We're going to pull this. We're going to kind of hold here. We're going to pull this. So this top reaches, then we're just going to kind of shape it to where this line here is parallel with this line. Then we'll squeeze that down. Like so. See, I still got the bowl thing going. Alright. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay this down on the table. You can do this whole thing on the table. I don't know why I was doing it in the air, but... And what we're going to do is we're going to open this flap here, but we're going to make sure we open it here. All right? Then we're going to fold this down. We want to fold this down to... It's really subjective, but we're going to fold it down to right about here. Okay? We're going to do the same thing on this side. Fold that down. Right about there. And we want to make sure our tips are about the same distance. 
Not real critical, but just nice to have your ships all the same. So I'm going to adjust mine just a little bit. All right, so now they're about the same. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this flop here, we're going to fold this in half, and I want this edge here to line up with the center crease. It can be short a little bit, but this edge should line up with itself. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to fold this back, just like that. Crease that down. See how the back edge is still along the line of the back edge? This folds up right about the center crease. We're going to do the same thing to this side. So, we're going to take this. Let's see if I can lift this for you. I like to help it with my finger. Right about center. Make sure the back's good. And we'll squeeze that down. You should be able to fold this back in half. All right, we're going to revisit that later. We're going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to fold this in half. And my hand got in the way there, but I folded that in half. I'll do the same thing to this side. And then I will fold these together. Like I said, just for now, we're going to come back and fix those. But uh, see, now it's starting to look like the ship, right? All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this edge here on this top flap, this edge, fold it along this center crease, but the top part's going to kind of come away a little bit. So right here where the engine, this wing right here, meets, that's where our crease up here is going to stop. Now I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take this, we're going to fold this, and make sure it comes right to my tip, close to it. Then I'm going to come up here, I'm going to put my finger, because that's where I want my crease to end. And we're going to go ahead and fold that down. Now, I'll show you. So right there, that crease lines up right there with that engine. If you're a little before, that's not a problem. If you're behind, that's okay, but it starts to get a little more difficult. So you'd rather be before if you're not right on it. And you see how it comes away from the center crease a little bit, right? All right, now we're going to do the same thing with this side. So this upper flap, this edge, I'm going to lift this over here, right there, find that engine, and crease that down. Now with the back of our fingernail, we're going to go ahead and give that a good crease because we're going to do yet another sink fold. All right, so how we're going to do this is we're going to open this up. We're going to flip this over, and it's this flap here. Remember, this is the one we folded. We're going to open this up, and then we're going to push this in. This is the part we just folded. Now, you can use your fingers to kind of guide. Once you find that little crease, that helps. So we're going to fold that, and this guy all the way up. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to open this guy up. Use my fingers to hold it. My thumb to push it in. Any way you can push it in and guide this is fine, but this is just how I do it. All right, I think we got this. So at this point, this is what it looks like. It's a little sharper, a little narrower right here. Now we're going to flip the whole model over. Now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point and we're gonna line it up right with this back point here. I'm gonna fold that down, just like so. Then we're going to take this flap here, and we're going to take this point, put it right here, down here at the center. Just like that. Okay. Now that we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this top flap, 
we're going to take this edge here and we're going to fold it along this center crease. I know that's probably hard to see for you, it's hard to see for me right here, but there it is, that's the center crease. So we're going to fold this edge along that and this is what it looks like. Then we're going to crease that down. Okay, We're going to do the same thing to this side. So I'm going to fold this over. And then crease that down. Once we have this, we're going to open this up all the way. And we get to do a different kind of fold here. So we're going to lift this pocket up. And this again could be a little tricky. So that last crease we made down there, we're going to find it. We're going to find the crease up here. This one's going to go all the way across. This one down here. I'm going to squeeze it. Fold that down like that. So this is kind of squash fold. We're just going to fold that guy down. Once we have this, we're going to take this lower flap, fold it up. And it's already creased, so this should go pretty easily. And fold that right up there like that. So what I did is I lifted this, folded that. This edge should line up with that edge. Okay, now what we're going to do is holding down this side, we're going to lift this up. We're going to fold it over. And then fold this part down. This should fold easily. See what I did there? So I held that, lifted this over, folded this down, it makes this triangle. We're going to crease this here. Then we're going to lift this up. And in here, we're going to lift this paper. I know this part can be tricky and frustrating. So take your time. We're going to lift this. We're going to reverse fold down here. So we're going to end up with this diamond shape like this. Okay? Once we have this, we're going to take this bottom part of the diamond and fold it up onto the top part. Just like so. Okay? Should be able to lift this flap up. See how we got that little flap? And we're going to open this up and then squash fold this down. We're going to make sure it's lined up with the center crease, just like so. All right, now for another one. We're going to lift this up here and we're going to fold this half into it. So sometimes it's easiest if you just give this part a little curl and you can kind of curl this in, help it along, and then fold that down. Then we can lift this up and this is our cockpit. So and then you can shape it however you want. See, it goes up. All right, so now I said we were going to come back and fix the engine. So what we're going to do... These engines, if you look on the bottom here, you'll see that there's a little pocket here. See that pocket? We're going to take one of these sides. You can either do the top or the bottom. There's a pocket on the other side. But depending on how they fold, it might be easier to do one way or the other. And we're just going to stuff it into the pocket. Just like that. See? That's going to give it that triangle fold there. Okay? We're going to do the same thing to this one. So we're going to pick a pocket, fit it in there, push it down. Okay, now one last step. Up here, we have this flop here. We're going to lay that, and you see how it kind of extends over the body? Well, this is a good point. If you wanted to fix anything in here, this is a good time to do that. You could bring these over and then fix them reshape it if you want um, but otherwise what we're going to do is we're going to line this up here and then we're going to take these corner flaps here we're going to fold them down that's going to kind of hold the body 
fold that guy down. And there you have the Naboo Starfighter. All right, well, I hope this video helped you. I hope this wasn't too frustrating. I know it can be. Um, if so, just go ahead and watch the video again. It, it Even for me, this one was a little frustrating. It took a few times before I got it. Um, but I hope this video helped. Go ahead and click on the like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I'll see you next time.